kita right now. Right. So, dahan-dahan siya. Tama naman eh. You, you climb up the ladder slowly. Yeah, hindi ka naman pwedeng bigla ka nalang naging expert, di ba? Unless you're you're a savant or something. So, yeah. Tama naman yon. Dahan-dahan tayo dyan pupunta. Okay? So, um, again, tama naman yung sinabi niyo eh. For, for the things that, um, how you would describe mentoring, those are all correct. In addition to what you guys said, uh, would be these words. So, uh, so motivation is very important, you know, to to feed the person motivation. Kind of like what I mentioned, Kanina. I don't know if you, uh, you guys remember the WIFM, W I I F M. You guys remember what that means? I'm gonna Google. <laughs> yeah, W I I F M is. I'm saying, what's in it for me? Okay. What is in it for me? Okay. Now, having that said, um, diba, we, we mentioned na, uh, in coaching that you have to, to drive your people. Diba? You have to improve the skills that they have. Parang, bakit pa ba nila gagawin yon? Simply because they have goals to achieve. When you are mentoring someone, you're going to have to understand what their motivations are. Remember, this is long term for career pathing. What, what, why are you taking up uh, running to begin with? Is it to get fit? Is it so that you can get into uh, a sports illustrated magazine? Okay. Things like, if you think about it, if you want to, if you want to go uh, that route, then not only are you going to have to take care of your health, but you're going to have to take care of what, uh, how you look like. Right? You have, so frequent visits to, let's say, uh, a skin doctor, um, to a dietitian, you know, things like that. Um, compared to if you are running because you are going to be into sports, then you're going to have to be more concerned about um, how to improve your, your um, lap times or your race times, right? your running times, how fast you run, um, how, how, uh, how long you can endure a run, and you know, things like that. Iba iba yung training niya, okay? Exactly what we have here, all right? Um, aside from motivation, again, there has to be a direction. Again, that direction would be like if you're gonna go into, uh, um, you know, uh, show business. If you're gonna go into uh, being a professional athlete, so on and so forth. And then you have, of course, you need to support that someone. Okay, if you're a mentor, you need to support them. And this will, in turn, again. So going back to the coaching part, since we're starting that, it's supposed to be goal oriented. And then again, the bottom line is. You have to have a measure of success. You're gonna to have to identify uh, when you when when you'll be able to say that you are already successful. Okay. So yeah, and again, uh, I, I just love this when I was looking for it, uh, when I was looking for a picture rather about coaching and mentoring. I just loved how it connected. You know, the two, coaching and mentoring, because it goes hand in hand, talaga. And kind of like what your descriptions were earlier, um, it's important for us to. Um, not just understand what they are, but to actually implement and do it and execute it well. Okay? So, a little bit more about that. Nasa intro pa lang din naman tayo. So, let me go to the next slide. And So, mentoring, again, is the act of guiding, counseling, and supporting. This is vastly different from coaching. It is fundamentally teaching. However, the objective is slightly different. Tama pa rin naman, di ba? I mean, when we were talking about coaching earlier, uh, we are teaching skills and improving them. In in mentoring, we are still teaching, diba? However, it's more about uh, ano na siya, parang on a spiritual level na. If you say mentoring versus just coaching, so coaching you have just things that you need to achieve um, because you have goals. Mentoring is again on a different level, and that's why it's saying here the objective is slightly different. Okay, mentorship is more voluntary in nature and is less formal than coaching. Kind of like what DJ mentioned earlier. DJ, when somebody asks you, "Can you be my mentor?" Is that something that was part of of a plan or a project, or simply because kailangan mo kumuha ng mentor? So okay, I guess I'll just pick DJ. How did it happen? Can you tell us a little bit of background. Um, siguro na padalas po yung hingi niya sa akin ng uh, advice. 
Ah, hindi naman naniligaw 'yon. <laughs> Boy friend niya na raw. Eh. Baka baka mentor ligaw kasi 'yon eh. <laughs> okay. So na napadalas and that person probably like you for who you are and what you are doing as a leader. Kaya ka napili as a mentor, tama ba? Opo. <laughs> so, possib- possibly sila na nga, no? Hindi natin alam, Richard. Richard, kasi <laughs> umingiti kanina eh. Hindi ko si Boy, pero bugbugin ko ito si Boy. Hindi ba yun? Sorry, sorry. Hindi, hindi, hindi. Okay. So, di ba again, going back, um, it's voluntary in nature. Kasi, parang, you can't assign someone, kunyari, oh, Richard, Richard will be mentoring this person. Eh, paano kung yung tao ayaw, parang hindi naman sa ayaw niya kay Richard, it's just that meron siyang tao na mas gusto mag-mentor sa kanya. Why? Because that person sees more value in a different person than you. But does that mean that you're a bad person? Of course not. Iba lang talaga yung preference ng tao na hindi ka pinili. Yan. Parang hugo tuloy lumabas yun. Ha? Pero do you understand what I mean? Yan. Okay. Sige. Um... The mentor and protege and endeavor on a broad development goal, for example, becoming a leader. Mentor, mentoring encompasses many complex areas of development. So basically, um, I, I wanted to ask you this as well, okay? If you are going to have a mentor, okay, uh, let's just say it doesn't necessarily have to be from the office, from where you are, but let's say mentor in life, Okay. Can you can you identify who that person is and then let us know? But can you name a person that would be your mentor? I know it's a big decision, pero again, since this is just training, okay, it doesn't necessarily have to be like dapat siya na yon, okay. But if there was someone, okay, in our imaginary world, who would that mentor be? Hmm. Parang hirap mag on the spot this time. Ang hirap, no? <laughs> See, parang Ang hirap, ano, no? Eh, uh, it depends on your need okay, right now. Good. Oo. Good, okay. Uh, if, yun nga, di ba? Parang ano siya eh, uh, situational ano siya eh, uh, parang basis yung pwede kang mag-ask for a mentor. Diba? Mm-hmm. So, I mean, Correct. like for example, I, I could be uh, joining a cooking competition right now. So, okay. parang I, I would look for someone na who could mentor me uh, dun sa mga cooking tips or whatsoever. And then after some time, you know, meron na naman akong like, for example, personal diba, problem. So, uh, pwedeng yung nag-mentor sa akin dun sa cooking yung, ano, yung magbigay ng mentorship sa akin. But, uh, may thinking ka pa rin na parang is he the right up per, per person ba to approach or meron okay. bang iba parang ganun okay or, good 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 so so I love how you, you thought about that no you 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 really planned it out kasi kind of like what you said it, hindi naman pwedeng isang tao lang din. I mean that is of course possible na meron ka talaga ang tao na you know what I want to be that person I want to be like him you know pero different stages in your lives and different seasons would necessitate a different mentor then. Or if you, exactly what you said, if you want to take up cooking, you know, like immediately, I thought of, you know what, Gordon Ramsay. But at the same time, you know what, um, <laughs> for, for lack of a better word at this point, he's an a-hole, you know, when, when, mm-hmm. when you see him in TV, diba? Um, pero th- does that mean he he you know it, he's not a good mentor for me? Possibly he would be because I might need a little bit of of that kind of thinking or mentality when it comes to managing a restaurant or a kitchen. Okay, so but if if I would have a choice, I would pick someone who would be more along the lines of my personality. Someone who's just you know. May a little bit more chill in the kitchen. Hindi ako maninigaw ng tao. Kasi um, that's not me. Diba? Pag, pag, if, if you think about it, if I get him as a mentor, mag, possibly magbabangga kami. Either I get, I always get offended or mababagalan siya sa progress ko. Okay? So, um, again, I, I just love that 
you know, thought or that that planning na hindi na naman pwedeng isa lang. I mean, it, again, it's possible. Pero different seasons in your lives would bring about different, uh, I'd say, you'd need different people. Yeah. So, like, if it's your career, you know, you would have to think about who that mentor is. Pero sige, just for the sake of naming one, can, can you can you name one person who, who you want to mentor in um, whatever area or a subject of expertise that you have? Anybody? No, po. Hi. <laughs> yes, Sa experience ko po, kasi parang meron akong meron akong tinitingnan as a mentor, pero di niya alam. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, so, parang um, si, siguro... Si, sino itong taong to? Is it sa office? Opo, sa office. Okay. So, you, you never tried to ask that person either? Um, siguro indirect kasi parang... Mahirap naman gato. Um, may nag-interview sa akin tapos parang nilagay kami sa about me ng Sprout. Tapos parang sabi niya, oh, meron ko ba iniisip na mentor? Ganyan, ganyan. Sabi niya, sabi mentor. Tapos sinabi ko nga na ang titignan kong role model sa Sprout na nakakatulong sa akin si Miss Alex yung isa po sa founder ng Sprout kasi kasama okay. po opo naging kaklose ko po siya dati nung malit pa yung Sprout tapos mm-hmm. parang lahat po ng decision ko nakarelay dun sa dati naming arrangement na o oh, dayan kapag ganito ganito pag okay. may issue sa ganyan ganyan parang lagi ko pong dala yun kaya parang hindi okay. niya alam pero hanggang ngayon dala ko <laughs> hindi niya alam na mentor mo siya. <laughs> hindi niya alam. <laughs> Siguro ko nagbasa siya nung about me. <laughs> Malalaman siya siya yun. Okay. Okay. Stalker lang ang dating, you know. Pero, yeah, I mean, that's exactly who a mentor is. Okay? What what DJ sh- said. Um, it's someone that helps you to be better. And because the mentorship again kind of like what it said there the second paragraph mentorship is more voluntary napili niya yung taong yun and the decisions are heavily influenced by that person and and for me if you're going to ask me what mentorship is that's exactly it a person who has influence over uh, your decision making process and even for you guys okay when when you say <clears throat> you, you want to mentor someone you can't pick you know what um, I'm going to mentor you. I mean, unless it's it's um, unless it's a mutual decision, then that's fine. Pero that person, and it kind of like what I what I, I asked DJ, if she asked um, see Miss Alex to be her mentor, para um, you know, an unwritten contract would be there. Na parang you know what, I I will be committing some time so that I will mentor you. You know, in, in your decision making process, exactly what you said. The decisions that she took, you know, in her career is heavily influenced by Ms. Alex. You know, but iisipin mo muna, ano bang gagawin itong taong to? Diba? And that's exactly what mentorship is. So if somebody asks you, okay, na parang, can you be my mentor? Ganun din, parang, um, uh, that person would have to understand what your line of thinking is and how you decide on things. Because they see you as a role model. And this is also why, for me, it's heavier to be a mentor than just a coach. A coach, I mean, mabigat na nga yun eh, to begin with. Pero it, it's just heavier if you're a mentor for someone because it takes total commitment. Okay? Yeah. Good. So, uh, again, let me ask. Uh, can you guys think of anybody else that would, you know, that um, you, you would want to uh, mentor? I mean, to, to mentor you, not you mentor. <laughs> interview. Siguro yung sa akin naman ano, uh, uh, meron din naman ako pero hindi rin formally na nagkaroon ng ask ng ng question uh, mm-hmm. na ganun. Uh, uh, from my previous uh, uh, company, uh, parang late 40s na din siya. So parang mm-hmm. we're actually hindi lang ako eh, even may mga ano peers or uh, co-team members is parang uh, na to this uh, person. Kasi parang uh, ba, when you say 40, parang less of ano ka na, uh, uh, hindi ka na masyado techy. But parang na kami because of uh, parang yung iba yung age namin, pero nakakahabol siya. Parang isa lang yung yung uh, 
yung thinking namin kumbaga um okay. in terms of like uh developing parang nasa kanya lahat i mean when you're working with software Good. kasi maraming role role base yan eh you could Correct. be a uh, uh, system admin a dba a uh, pure mm-hmm. dev parang lahat yun na purposes niya so uh parang ang 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 dating is yung tao is uh sir uh, pwede ba kami magpaturo sa yo or something right. ganyan Kumbaga, I don't need another person to teach me this because al- kaya niya, na alam niya na. Oh. <laughs> alam ko, hindi niya expertise talaga yun. Pero, ano, uh, may knowledgeable siya. Para kaya ganun. niya, o. Oh. Kaya right. niya, o. Oh. So, okay. uh, uh, dun, dun, eto, iba naman to dun sa case na parang na, na provide ko kanina. Because, yeah. eto, that same person, parang na, <laughs> nasisi ko na kaya niya sa akin ma- maituro. Yun. Right. Okay, good. So, um, let me use that as, as an example. Ah. So, you see that person as um, the whole package. Okay? Mm-hmm. Now, talking about communications, the, the DOPE, Dove, Owl, Peacock, Eagle, we are only, I mean, we prefer just one of them or mostly we communicate only by having just one personality. But does that mean na hindi na tayo makakapag-communicate sa ibang personalities different than ours? Of course not. The ability of a person to be flexible enough to understand and speak as a dove, as an owl, as a peacock, and as an eagle makes them someone who would be the whole package. Bakit? Madali kasi kumausap ng tao na flexible. So, kunyari, uh, um, uh, so, let's say Paolo's personality is is happy. Um, Diane is, you know, just just um, very straight forward person. Nemi is more sensitive, let's say, and Richard is a little bit uh, more outspoken. If, um, my, my again, my, my soul, my preferred personality is quiet and meek, okay? But hindi tayo mag, magtutugma ng personality. But, if I am able to speak to you in your own language, then you will see me as someone who is capable na, ah, when I talk to Mary, he will understand what I mean. No matter what my language is, I don't have to talk the same way he does. I don't have to talk, uh, you know, in a calm manner, just to match her personality. I can be myself, and and and, uh, um, you know, uh, parang uh, what do you call this? Uh, I can, uh, I forgot the term. I can express myself in in my own language. Pero may intindihan niya ni Mary. So now, again, to put it in perspective, Mary is now an all-encompassing, understanding guy, no matter who you are. Diba? So, syempre, and parang almost immediately, you would see me as someone who is, you know what, masarap siguro makipag-uusap dito kay Mary. Immediately, that, that's where the mentorship process starts. Kasi you would see me someone who would be capable, exactly what Richard was saying. Diba? Parang, there, there, it's, not, it's unspoken na, pero that, he was everybody's mentor. Parang everybody would want it to be like him and to, to decide according to how he, he decides things. Mm-hmm. Diba? So, yon. Parang again, pasok na pasok yung example na yun. Pero yes, that's, that's again, mentorship for you. Okay? Good. Thank you very much. Anybody else? How about you? Who, who are your mentors? Or who do you, who, who do you want to be your mentor? Paolo, Nemi, and Vince, have anybody in mind? Ayun, sige. Ako na lang. <laughs> Ayan. So, um, sa akin naman, same scenario siguro with DJ na hindi rin siya aware. Um, do wala naman to sa office. <laughs> sa pre- okay. ano siya, previous companies ko pa, parang two companies ago, um, when I started uh, being a project manager kasi before, siya yung... Um, parang yung tinitingala mong tao. Uh, mm-hmm. She used to be my manager. Tapos when I uh, got to my position na, parang siya lagi po yung ko and siya naggalagi sa akin ng tips na ito dapat yung gawin mo, ito yung i-aspire mo, something-something. And um, until now, yung yung mga sinadjust niya sa akin and yung impact niya, um, dala-dala ko siya until now and that pushed me to, you know, do the things na um, like yung pag-aaral ulit, siya din nag-suggest nun. So, yung mga ganon na long-lasting yung 
impact niya sa akin do hindi kami lagi nag-uusap and walang formal discussion na uy mentor kita ha. Um, mm. pero uh, yun siguro nag vibe nag match din siguro kasi yung personalities namin and yeah. yun nga uh, in terms of tec- technical um, capabilities niya titingala ko talaga sa so marami right. akong natutunan sa kanya ayun okay sige good you know what um uh, the, the concept that I was telling you earlier about asking someone to be the mentor, parang just to formalize it. But for the most part, um, I was thinking then, kasi, um, you know, kind of like you guys, um, I have someone na parang, you know what, ang galing nga nitong taong to, but the mentoring process, it wasn't formalized per se, pero it happened simply because and and not not necessarily because our personalities match it's because you can you trust each other i guess that's one very important thing that we have um we, we trusted each other enough na I, I trust that this person will give me good advice into you know whatever decision i have for my career so then parang automatic naging mentor and aside from that we will talk a little bit more about this as we go along um pero Everything that that what a mentor should be, you know, um, committing to to me, um, ano pa ba? Parang just basically seeing him as a whole package as well. That that was him for me. Na parang you know what? If I was gonna grow in my career, then I would want to take the steps that you took, so that I can be in the same position as you. And again.